Hey everyone, this is Fab from Cosmic and in today's tutorial we are going to create this poster in Photoshop. So let's begin. First I like to grab all the images that I will be working on working with on my design and then I make selections, kick the backgrounds and try to add a threshold effect above so I'm gonna speed up the video so that you don't feel bored so after selecting all the images that I'll be working with I'm gonna start bringing them to the main canvas and just creating a layout So this knife, I think, looks good in this area. I'm gonna duplicate it two times. I'm gonna pick this beautiful lug and put it here. So what I'm doing is I am following a two columns grid so that I can organize the contents of the poster. At the same time, I'm trying to have some freedom when placing the elements so that it doesn't look too rigid. So I think I'm gonna delete this wires. I'm gonna leave only one. Then I'm gonna scale this balaclava. Then, then I'm gonna bring these wires and put them right here. I'm gonna add the stroke. So that it gives this beautiful overlapping effect. So now we are left with this beautiful composition. Duplicate these wires two times or one time. Looks good. So I'm gonna scale this up. Then go into right, don't don't be in this font, which is called Ultimate Black Metal. You can find it in Creative Markets. I think it's a really beautiful font. What I like to do is to give it a stroke in black so that we give it a more solid look. Then I'm gonna duplicate it and set it in Helvetica bold. So what I'm trying to do right now is to duplicate this text and try and add some cool effects that would give us some variety in this layout and create some visual interest
and I think we're done laying out our pictures so now what I'm going to do is to add a threshold effect above the images and there we go this gives a really sweet effect it looks like it is printed and we only need need one element one more element to make this poster pop a little bit more so this element is a paper texture which I got from black market it is called copy scan collection you can find it in their website it is a really good paper texture pack so now I'm going to desaturate the texture and then add some noise to make it pop a little more then I'm gonna change the blending mode to screen then lock the layer so now I'm tweaking the layout and fine tuning it So that's it guys for this video, if you find the content useful please subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that when I release new videos you stay updated. So thanks again and see you in another tutorial.